Okay, so you fired up Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 and there's a few changes uh, in regards to cyberware that you're curious about. Well, I'm going to break it down for you really quickly. If you're playing a new game, you're going to be introduced to it nice and slowly, bit by bit, it will explain it to you. If you are jumping in on a previous save, things are going to be a little bit different and you're going to have to partially find out for yourself. Once you load up a save, you're going to get a contact from Vic. Now all he's doing here, he's just telling you about the changes to cyberware. I actually think this is a really neat addition. There is a kind of a quest based around it, but basically it's saying that everything on the streets has changed and uh, you need to get that looked at. It's nice that they've kind of made it part of a game world change as opposed to it just being a, a gamer level change on a program basis. So it's like something that's happened in Night City. I think that's really cool. You get this quest called Upgrade You. You don't have to go to Vic, you can go to Annie Ripperduck. I, of course, chose to go to Vic because he's my tomb and I'll give him the business. So travel over to Bradbury and Burn and basically it's like having a bit of a tutorial again. And like I said, if you're playing the game from scratch, you'll get introduced to all this anyway. There's no special dialogue options. You just go into the top one there. It's the normal one for when you're buying cyberware from him. And you'll get a step by step introduction where you're taken through to pick specific cyberware before it lets you into the main page. So it kind of gives you a tutorial. Now. Things you're going to notice first on the left hand side, that area there is basically locked off to you and it's only available uh, if you get the equivalent perk. You get the edge runner perk that will unlock it and that will level up as you level as well and you can get things like cyberware capacity shards that will also increase it. I'm not sure how high you can get that yet. I should probably actually mention that's your cyberware capacity, how much cyberware you can have at any one time. And that's the bar graph for that. And you see, I can't actually get the edge runner perk on this character yet. I need to level up one more in order to get one more in technical ability. It makes the technical tree a lot more viable, I think, which is interesting. It gives it a lot more uh, purpose, I think, than it used to have. And you can see there, it's a really nicely upgraded interface and it's got some really nice graphics to it. You'll also notice that the icons for all the different cyberware are much bigger now and the artwork has been vastly improved and they've been differentiated quite a lot. So that's pretty cool. On the right hand side, you have your armor. You can increase that by uh, investing in the skeleton system and things like subdermal armor. And then once you've done the initial run through, it takes you through to this page here. And that's the page you'll see normally now from now on when you go into a ripper. One of the other cyberware capacity perks you can get is Renaissance Punk. That will also raise the level. I'll cover perks and the tech trees in other videos. I'm just going to stick on cyberware for now. Okay, another cool thing about cyberware, it's now upgradable beyond the top tier of tier 5 to tier 5 plus, which gives it even better statistics. Um, you know, it's a small upgrade, but every upgrade is worthwhile. It costs crafting components, so you must have them. I've got plenty on this character after all my uh, testing with crafting back in the early days. A lot of cash too, you know how I got that. Now, once you hit E to upgrade, or whatever it is on console, you come through to this window where you can upgrade it one more. At least I think it's just the one more. Weapons I've found so far, you can upgrade beyond tier five plus. I've had some weapons five plus plus, or is it plus plus plus? God, 1984. But uh, so far, my cyberware have only been able to upgrade to 5+, plus, but you might be able to get it higher. I'm not sure yet. It's going to cost you a certain amount of components to do this. The value of the item is also increased when you upgrade it, which is nice. So you have some resale value improvement there as well. You can see here with Synaptic Accelerator, the uh, time is slowed for an extra half a second, which could be vital in a fight. So you can upgrade only as much as you're able to and you have to level up your different things. So it's, it's kind of made it much more interesting in that way. And you have a few other stats which do play into things like um, you can increase your cyberware capacity by four with uh, Renaissance Punk, like I mentioned. And you see there it's up to 192. And once I level up, I'll get Edge Runner, which will bring it up even more. Oh, just one final note. As I've mentioned there, you've got the armor on the right hand side. The things that really impact your armor are going to be subdermal armor and the skeletal upgrades. Those ones give you a big boost to armor. There are some other ones as well. You can see how you can increase it quite nicely here. And uh, one last thing in relation to the immersive ripper dock experience that they've um, added to the game. Right now, it appears to me it consists of a cutscene where you get up from the chair, basically. So, you know, I, I've previously said as much as I would love to see animations for all the operations and procedures, it's a ridiculous request or expectation. So I'm not surprised. But anyway, once you get up from the chair and you've got your uh, cyberware sorted, you'll notice that the quest upgrade you completes. 
So it's really just running you through the tutorial once you've been through all the different slots, uh, it will complete it for you. I really like this new system. I think it's really well thought out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be curious to know, are you frustrated by it or do you like it? I actually like it because it's a lot more gamey. There's a lot more things to weigh up, pros and cons and choices to make. And I think that's really good. And there you go. That is how Cyberware now works in Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. I hope some of this was useful for you. If you have any other questions, pop them down below. I'll see what I can do. All right, take care, bye. Oh, YouTube thinks you find this video interesting. I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye.